Okay, today we're going to talk about similar triangles, the angles of similar triangles, and in two, when two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles in another triangle, the third angles are also congruent, and the triangles are similar. So similar triangles means that all they have all the same angles and that their sides are proportional. So looking here, the 95 and 95, it's one pair, and 65 and 65. So we have two pairs of congruent angles, which means that the third one also has to be. So this is the symbol for being similar right here. So if you look at that little similarity, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Okay, so on example one, tell whether the triangles are similar. Scroll up here. So looking at the angles, you need to find two pairs of angles that are congruent to say that they're similar. So we really only need to know two pairs, not all three. So looking at this, 50 and 50, there's one pair, and the 75 and 75, those are the same. So therefore, there are two pairs. The explanation is there are two pairs of congruent angles. So the third angles are congruent and the triangles are similar. Okay, looking over here to B, so this time, okay, we see 63 and 63, those match up, but so 50, Y has to be 54, or we'd have to say that X is 63, and so how do we figure that out? So we know that each of those triangles, they have to add up to 180, so pick one of them and just start working it out. So we either do X plus 63 plus 63, I mean X, yeah, X plus 63 plus 64, I had to pause there for a minute, so let me look again. Let's just look at this triangle. I'm going to pick this triangle to solve. Y plus 63 plus 63 equals 180. So I combine like terms. There's my equality sign. Y plus 126 equals 180. I subtract 126 from both sides. Gone. Y equals, you should come up with 54 degrees. So if I go back up here to Y and I put in a 54, does this 54 match up? Do we have two pairs now? Yes. So therefore, these triangles are similar. So it's my explanation would be, oops. Yes, they are similar. because they have two pairs of congruent angles. Okay, going to C. So now I need, remember I need two pairs. If I can tell that two pairs of the angles are congruent, then I know that the two triangles are similar. So what do you know? So start with what you know. Well, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in as 90. Ooh, I'm not sure what happened just there. It looks kind of funny. And this one is 90. So that's one pair. That's good. So now I need to figure out, is x equal to 38 or y equal 42? So I'm just going to start with this first triangle right here and write my statement x plus 42 plus 90 equals 180, because I'm trying to figure out what that missing angle x is right there. Combine like terms, x plus 132 equals 180. Subtract 132, and x should come out to be 48 degrees. Is that what I want it? If I plug that in here, 48 degrees, well then that's not going to work, because I don't have two pairs, because 42 or 48 doesn't line up here. So therefore, the triangles are not similar.
because the angles are not congruent. Okay, move on to the next page. You'll see on your own. Go ahead and fix, fill those in, figure those out, whether they're similar or not similar, and give me some kind of explanation. And then move on down to, there's one more problem here. So let's look at this. What uses similar figures to find a missing measure when it's difficult to find directly? Well, if it's hard to measure something directly, we can use indirect measurement. So this is indirect. So indirect measurement uses similar figures to find a missing measure when it's difficult to find directly. So look at an example two. You plan to cross a river and want to know how far it is to the other side. You take measurements on your side of the river and make the drawing as shown. So here you are and you're trying to find out what is the measure, how far it is to the other side, right here, x. So there you are. How could you do that? Well, if first we need to know, are these triangles similar? Triangle A, B, C, is that similar to triangle D, E, C? So how could we figure that out? Well, we'd have to have, we, if we know that two pairs of angles are congruent, then we would know that they are similar. So what do you know? You know that this is a 90 degree angle and this is a 90 degree angle. So you know that angle B and angle, you know that angle B is congruent to angle E. And how do you know that? Because they're both 90 degree right angles. Okay, well then you can also look at this angle here. So what about angle ACB? ACB should be congruent to angle DCE. DCE. Because, what do we call those angles the other day? They're vertical angles. Because they're vertical angles, we know that they're equal. Are congruent. Okay, so therefore, if you have two pairs, then if you have two pairs of angles that are congruent, then we know that the triangles are similar. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEC because the, the two because they have two pairs of congruent angles. Okay, what is the distance x across the river? So we're trying to find out this distance x right here across the river. So what does this information give us? Well, we would know that these are proportional then. In similar triangles, the angle measurements are congruent the sides are similar. The sides are proportional, I mean. So we could set up a proportional proportion saying, if I'm gonna call this the height of the triangle, and you may need to turn your paper around and look at it. So that's the height coming up from the right angle. So I'm gonna compare the height over, and I'm gonna label this the base. Those are the, inf that's the information I know that's given to me. So I need to have three of the four that I know. So blank equals blank. And go ahead and fill in what you know. So the height of this one is 60 over the base, which is 50. The height of the smaller triangle is x over the base, which is 40. So from here, you know to cross multiply, and I get 50x equals 2400. Then you have to solve the equation by dividing both sides by 50. And when you solve that, you should get x equals 48. Oops, not degrees. Just 48, we're talking about 48 what? The distance here, we're talking in feet, so 48 feet. Go back up and look and see if that's, is that a reasonable Based on our picture here and our other measurements, is that reasonable that that would be 48? Yes, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and fill that in on the picture. 
just so we can kind of make sure we're checking our work. Okay, your job then is to do on your own, looking at the vertex A to B is 55. Use the same picture that's given and then find the distance across the river if that changes to 55. Okay, have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.